Gergely repülőterén, Gyuri Zéri előtti asztal kell kötelítsek biztosan, minden nagyobb elektronikusok. As many of you know, Norway is probably the most expensive country in Europe, and so yeah, I don't want to spend all my money on this two-week trip in Norway. So I will try to save as much money as possible. Starting now, I checked on the internet before taking a mean of transportation to the city from the airport, and I took the cheapest one, which is the light rail, instead of the shuttle bus, which was like four times expensive. Let's see now if I can find something quite cheap to eat in the city because I'm pretty much starving right now. Guess what's the first thing I do when I arrive in a new place? Supermarket. That's really the first thing I'm doing because I just jumped off the light rail. I walked 50 meters and I found this grocery store and I got inside. Uh, so now I want to understand the prices because I've already seen that one sandwich here costs on average 10 euros But I want to see if I can do something better with the grocery store So one avocado, these are pretty big and you have to think that we are in the very city center This is two and a half euros, so it's not so bad While and not so big cucumber like this, it's two euros. I don't even check the tomatoes because they are like Mediterranean stuff. You don't come to Norway to eat tomatoes, you know? Ooh, look what I found! Apples! They were so expensive in New York, let's see here. It's 30 per kilogram, I think. I think it's something like three euros per kilogram three and something so it's pretty good not so bad well some good news we have these nectarines which is one kilogram per two euros not so bad they come from Spain then let's see we have potatoes potatoes and carrots cost like two and a half euros almost three euros per kilo that's a lot what this box of blueberries is just 10 crowns, which is 1 euro. And it doesn't even come from here, it comes from Spain. Why the blueberries are so cheap everywhere except in Italy? Wow, look at this! A pack of cashew nuts is just 3.5 euros. Not bad. In Italy they cost a lot. What? This huge pack of cornflake is just less than 1 euro. Is it possible? Almost one kilo of cornflakes. Look. It's nine crowns, which means less than one euro. Should I eat cornflakes for the rest of my trip? Here we have yogurt, like natural yogurt. Half a kilo is, well, just one and a half euros. That's convenient. I will eat a lot of yogurt. <laughs> and the milk. I don't really understand. They have a lot of fat reduced and lactose fried milk. But I want the normal milk. They probably don't have it, I don't know. Eggs. A box of six eggs, which seems even organic eggs, cost just three euros. That's good. Okay, the seeds are even less expensive than in Italy, as always, in Italy the seeds are crazy expensive. So it's like, for example, for me this is the basic kind of seed, sunflower seeds. This is 300 grams, cost 2 euros. That's nothing. And 350 grams of lime seeds, it's even less than 2 euros. Let's go to the Kia seeds. Kia seeds cost less than 4 euros for 350 grams. Not bad at all. Let's go to the bread now. They have these beautiful loaves of bread, which seem even very full of 
how do you say, um, different cereals and they cost it's like between 3 and 4 euros. Very not healthy stuff but I'm very hungry so I need to fill my stomach right now. I'm taking one of these. Oh cool! They don't have the plastic gloves but they have hand sanitizer. Something I don't like is that they just have plastic bags. Okay, enough research for now. Uh, now I'm gonna pick up my stuff and then I will show you what I purchased when I get out of here. those bakery things it was bread and cheese basically it was one euro per piece and then I bought uh, four apples and I spent 50 cents per apple they are small but they are very good <laughs> and still a very good price and then I bought a pack of peanuts which is quite big and it was just one euro and a half so in total I spent something like 6 euros, 5-6 euros. So I bought a lot of stuff with 5 euros. If I had bought a sandwich for lunch I would have spent 10 euros and I just had a sandwich. Oh and by the way, look at my office for today. Not bad, huh? <laughs> So my work day is finished, it's 7 o'clock now, uh, it's time to go home and I found a home this afternoon actually, I sent a last minute couch request which was accepted, so I found this new host, his name is Stieg and now I'm gonna meet him at his apartment. <laughs> in the couch surfer's apartment I didn't want to film in there I'm already out at the grocery store again because he's already had dinner so I'm taking something for me because I'm hungry now and for dinner I decided to go with an avocado and then I took this bread which is like one euro or one euro something then a banana for I think I will eat it for breakfast tomorrow or for dessert today and I also found some chocolate, a chocolate bar, very regular uh, which is just uh, 11 crowns so it's one euro and something a very good price so I'm taking it with me and whenever I want something sweet I have something to bite on got the receipt, I paid 55 crowns which is it's almost six euros. Yeah, almost six euros. Hey guys, in this video I showed you how I concretely apply some of the advices I gave you in my last two videos on how to travel cheap. I showed you what I meant by doing your research in this case regarding food and transportation and buying some staple food right when you arrive at destination, first thing. If you haven't watched them yet, go click this link here now. There are plenty of other advices I gave you in these videos. About what you've seen in this vlog, I can guarantee you that I didn't starve at all. I felt full and happy all the time. You also saw that the meals I chose were very balanced regarding the macronutrients. And I only spent 11 euros, like one of the sandwiches they were selling at the tourist market at the harbor. And I didn't even use a kitchen. 
I just made a quick research on Google to see how Norway ranks in the world's most expensive countries. And in all the lists I've seen, it was ranked in the top five. So guys, if I just showed you that even in one of the five most expensive countries in the whole world, it is possible to eat good, healthy and abundant for 10 euros a day and you could go even cheaper if you had a kitchen. You have no excuses. Even if you're broke, you can travel wherever you want, just as I do. By the way, follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet, because I post almost every day there, so you will be able to keep track of all my trips. So go watch my other two videos on how to travel cheap, take some notes, and then go book a flight to your dream destination. By the way, what is your dream destination? What is the place you want to visit that you haven't gone there yet? Comment below and let me know. I'm curious. I'll tell you mine. I'm traveling there in two weeks. It's New York. I have a lot of other advices to give you on how to travel extra cheap. So if you're interested, you better subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get a notification when I post a new video. Go, 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 do it now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.